I usually just be like, what's up, y'all? So, we're... <laughs> yeah, no, it's the 24th. February 24th, 2018. Yeah, boy. And, uh... we're, we're going out. <laughs> it's raining, yeah. <laughs> Great weather. So, weather sucks, so we're just going to go uh, pick up some parts. I got to get some bolts and drinks and a couple other things. And then we're going to work on the Mustang, which is behind that door. We had door number one there. And, uh, and, then, and then we're going to work on Mustang number two, which is Daniel's. And uh, that's because he's doing oil change. 9,000 oil change. I'm only at six on mine. Not even. I'm not even at six. I'm going to change it at six. So, yep. So we're going to go do that. over here at Roscoe's Tacos. I haven't eaten today. I'm hungry. Big guy's gotta eat. Alright, alright. Let's try this again. This is of course the burr I was looking for. It's sitting right under the GoPro. Let's try this. See how this works. Take her over. All right. This goes on. About like that is how I want it. Roughly. Aha! Uh -huh. It fits. I think I'm okay with it. Gonna basically grind off here, not grind it, but just wire wheel all through here to get that area cleaned up. And then I'm gonna repaint it with some zinc spray paint. Daniel's gonna change the oil on his crowd killer. And then I'm gonna try to get this thing welded up in here. And finally, start putting the car back together at that point. collar and I have this collar and what I'm gonna do I don't have the bolt over here but the bolt fits almost perfectly inside of here and of course here it's gonna have some wiggle room so I'm gonna do that and weld this collar the smaller one inside the uh, bigger one and it's gonna do two things it's gonna make sure the bolts going in the right spot every time uh, but it's gonna help prevent you know, if I over tighten it, because I've got gorilla arms, um, if I over tighten it, I'm not going to bend the sheet metal. So, I just want to make sure that everything, I'm kind of over engineering this. There's no real, I don't think there's a, really that much of a reason.
Oh, it's you mean it's it's catching on the pad. Yep. Might be yeah, the pad might be sticking. Oh, your brakes still? So that's why you're looking for. Are you getting calipers too, or just? Oh, calipers now. Yeah, you may just make sure you check them. That, so either the the piston could be sticking, or you know, not releasing, or the the guides. They just lube the guides up really well, and it works. Remember, folks, lube is important on your calipers. Don't put it on the rotor. Bad day. Gonna wait for this to dry and uh, pop the bolts in. I'm actually really happy with it. Um, pop the bolts in from the bottom um, and then I can finally start reassembling this car. Holy crap! That's awesome! So I've got a new bumper sitting over there. Oh, yeah, that's right. So this is the first video that this car is actually going to appear in on my channel. Uh, I mean, officially appear in. So, uh, 92 Mustang. Been hit in the front twice. Bare minimum. It's probably been hit more than that from previous owners. Uh, but for me, it's been hit twice in the front end. Uh, so this was from the last one. You can see... I don't even know what that wire goes to anymore. Like, that's how screwed up this is. Um, it's pretty bad. But when I took the fender off on this side... I noticed a whole bunch of rust, and I was like, screw it, I'm fixing the rust. So it's been like three months, something like that. It's been close to three months since I started on that, which it, it's not been my priority. So uh, anyway, the uh, water pump, the entire cooling system was broken. The, it had factory AC, um, so I basically just completely took the AC off. I said, screw it. Um, don't really want it. It's going to be a track car. So, I bought all new hoses, I've got a new thermostat, I'll repaint this, got a new water pump. Um, I did, the car wouldn't start afterward, and I spent like a week thinking that my fuel pump relay, which is, I believe it's right here, I believe that's what it was, I, I kind of can't remember at this point. Um, I chased down wires everywhere, I even rebuilt the computer, there were actually three uh, go look at it, ish. So the computer is down there, and I took it apart because there were poss it was possible that there were three bad capacitors in it. And me being the nerd that I am, I was like, screw it, I'll figure out how to fix it. It was cheaper than buying a new computer. It was, it cost me, including buying tools, because I, I needed a new soldering iron. Oh, I have your old soldering iron, by the way. Um, including buying a new soldering iron, I spent less than $50 on parts to fix that computer. It was going to be $300 to find one even used. Those computers are so sought after. It was going to be $300. Bucks. I like, forget that. Uh, so 50 bucks later, computer, and it still didn't work. There is something I read. There's a nice little uh, ground wire that runs off the battery. And they had said online, there's a funky connector sitting just off the battery and that funky connector can cause issues it'll it'll disconnect the ground of the computer i missed that the first time i went around things so folks this is the funky little connector i didn't realize that's what they were talking about now you'll see there's nothing on this because for whatever reason the other plastic piece that normally would sit on this wire and let it plug in that that piece was jacked and it wasn't allowing it to make a connection and that was my entire problem after I did that, I, that's when I found out that there was rust, and then I started on that project just to make sure it was safe. It's going to be an autocross car, possibly a road course car. Didn't really want to risk, you know, having problems. So, I started on that. I did check the other side. You can see down through there where that yellow zip tie is. That's all nice and clean. Um, it was not on the other side. So. I have one brake line to fix, I've got to put the new fender on, new bumper, the cooling system, and then it'll at least be, you know, drivable in the sense of, it'll move. <laughs> it'll move and I, and I won't have to worry about it overheating. Um, there's still some work to do on it to make it the way I want it, but oh well. Oh no.
It is now 10.40-ish, and what do we have here? Uh, well, that's a bumper. It's not fully installed. Actually, if I touch it too much, it'll fall off, but uh, what's what's this? Is that a wheel? Is that thing touching the ground? There's no more jack stand. <laughs> so I got it all together, um, and yeah, it's actually it's actually back on the ground. This is, this is huge for me. It's been something like three months since I started on this. So I'm pretty stoked and tomorrow I've got a bunch of stuff to do with the cooling system. I've got to, I gotta figure out how to mount this fender better because there's, you know, stuff is not lining up the way it should. And then once the fender's on, I can work, it, work on getting the bumper mounted. But more importantly, I can smash this out or pull it out a little bit more, make room for the radiator, and I can put the cooling system on. Because you can drive the car without a bumper. Yeah, no, you can. So, I just need to get the cooling system on it so I can hear it run again. Uh, I miss it a little bit. I actually sat in it a few minutes ago, and uh, yeah, I miss this car a lot. So, tomorrow's plan, fender, cooling system, and if time permits, uh, knock the bumper in. Uh, I've got to get the bumper support over there on and then the hood I'm gonna actually unless something else changes I'm actually gonna keep the hood because I mean so it's trash this hood is trashed and look at this there's cracks all up here and through here there's a crack that runs all the way down and even there's a crack there and you can see it's split all the way up there so this thing is trash I mean it's coming apart it literally split in half but uh, I, don't, I don't really care. I like the style of it. And if Rhino Line can make an egg strong, I think it'll do okay on this. So I'm just gonna Rhino Line it. Uh, and I'll probably Rhino Line the front bumper as well, because I don't really like the red a whole lot. Um, I, I've been going back and forth. I kind of want to make the front bumper match the other, the other parts of the car. So get the front bumper back to the Calypso green, but that's gonna cost me another hundred bucks or so. I'm gonna have to buy a Rhino line for that anyway. So I may do that. I may just leave it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, not really looking to dump a whole lot of money in this right now. Uh, just, I just want to get it back together and rolling. So looks like we are at that point. I may have slightly changed the shock geometry by accident. I will you know, mess with that later. It's never good when you get to the end of the project and you have leftover parts, so I don't know, we'll see what I decide to do there, I'll take it, I'm sure I'll take it apart eventually, but I'm not that concerned about it. But anyway, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.